SP column has a powerful slenderness module that is capable of analyzing slender columns in both sway and non-sway frames. We will model and solve a 16 feet high, 20 inch by 20 inch square column in a sway frame. The column is subjected to dead, live and wind loads as shown. We will also make use of the slenderness parameters and load combinations provided. First, let us enter the project description and set up a few project parameters. To be able to use the slenderness feature, you have to set the consider slenderness option to yes. Notice that this activates slenderness button in the ribbon. Let us quickly create the 20 inch by 20 inch section with eight number nine bars. Now click on the slenderness button in the ribbon. This opens the slenderness dialog. Here we can define all slenderness parameters related to the design column, columns above and below, and the beams framing into it. For the design column, enter 16 feet for its height, select the sway frame option, and enter the sway criteria values. We will leave the second order effects along the length option checked and let the program compute the effective length factors. Next, we will enter parameters for the columns above and below. From the dropdown, select the rectangular column type and enter its dimension and material values. You can make use of the copy to button to copy these values to column below. Similarly, let us select the type and enter dimension and material values for the beams. This time click the All button to copy the values to the remaining three beams. You can also modify the slenderness factors, but for now, we will leave them as they are. Click on OK to save all the slenderness parameters we just entered. When considering slenderness, the program requires service loads to be entered. Let us open the Loads dialog and enter the service loads. Click the new button to add the loads entered into the list box and then click OK to close the dialog. When service loads are input, SP column factors them using the load combinations provided. You can add, edit, or delete the load combinations using the load combinations panel in the definitions dialog. For the current model, we will use the following three load combinations. We are done with the inputs. Now, let us click the Solve button in the ribbon and run the solver. The program quickly calculates the interaction diagram and the load points. You can explore them using the load point list in the left panel. For detailed calculations, you can always refer to the tables module. SP column computes complete tables for the general slenderness parameters, effective length factors, magnification factors, factored moments, and capacities. Thank you for watching. Please visit structurepoint.org for more information.